Hi and welcome to my latest module overview for the Erica sequential switch. It's got eight steps that can be turned off, merged, skipped and passed all together to create interesting patterns and it also turns the unit into a rhythm sequencer which I'll show later in the video. It's got buttons for manual step movement and reset and inputs for clock and an output for the clock which is just a multi of the input and a unique feature which is a generated gate output which triggers with each step. This isn't a simple copy of the clock as it follows any of the beat skipping and merging of the steps as well which is set by pushing the buttons in the middle of the unit. I've got a follow up video to this one and the links in the description where I create one bigger and more chaotic patch so I suggest checking that out after watching this video. So let's get stuck in. So here a look at the basic features of the sequential switch. I've got 8 waveform outputs from a live wire AFG going into the inputs on the right and then I'm going out of the switch into a Borg 2 filter in low pass gate mode. The filter itself is wide open for now. We've got manual step buttons and manual reset. Get some slightly more interesting sounds going with these waveforms. I'm going to add some movement to these, such as pulse width modulation and the wave animation to the alien saws and animated pulses on the AFG. And if I then turn the cutoff on the low pass gate down, we can use the unique feature of the sequential switch, which is a gate output, and, that, and the unit itself generates a gate which I can trigger an envelope with and then open up the filter as the steps change. So now I'll add a clock to the switch. skip steps by pressing each button once. What this does is go through the step but it cuts out the signal and the gate that's generated from that. Pressing the button again brings the step back on. To actually cut a step out completely and fully skip it we just double press the button which creates a shorter loop. Again, pressing that again brings the step back on. Holding on a step and then pressing the step below merges those steps to create a new rhythm and this affects the gate output as well. So to finish off this section, here's a bit of a faster clock and some spring reverb on that sound. Taking the clock out that we've just used in this patch and taking a square wave out of the oscillator that's actually acting as the input, we can clock the modular audio rate which gives a great distortion effect. And because I'm changing the pitch that's going to the oscillator, I'm therefore affecting this audio rate clock rate as well. So just to go through that again, here's the normal clock. And here's the audio rate clock from the same oscillator as the input to the switch. And here's a few different pitches again. And because the AFG's also got a sub output, which will be half the clock rate of the waves that are going in, you can also take that out to give a different audio rate, which gives us an octave below the waveforms going in. So in this patch I'll go through using different clocks as the inputs. At the minute I've got a simple sound going through a filter and if I turn that down I've got the output of the switch going to trigger the top envelope on the dot for quad ADSR to the left of the module. So here we've got manual step movement as before. And now I'll add a clock to the module which is from the same clock multiplier which is providing all the inputs. And we can double press the step buttons and skip a step entirely. Pressing the step once will mean the clock actually goes to that step but there's no output present. 
And as I said in the previous part of the video, the unique feature is the gate that's generated by the switch. So I'll use the gate output to trigger the bottom envelope, which is going to control the level of the switch output on a VCA, which is then going to the filter. So we've got clocks passing through to this VCA and we're actually modulating the depth of the triggers going in by triggering an envelope with a gate output from the switch so we get like a fading trigger effect. And then to create a new rhythm with that gate output I'm going to merge some steps by pressing and holding step 3 and pressing step 4 below. So this generates gate outputs 1, 2, 3 and then holds on gate 4 with no new gate present on step 4. So here's a simple idea using the sequential switch clocked and then using the gate output as a rhythm sequencer. The clock moving the switch is also the clock which is changing the pitch on a sequence that's going into the oscillator and the gate, out and the gate output on the switch is triggering a dot for envelope to the left which is then moving a bandpass filter that the oscillator is going through. Pressing the step button once I can turn off every other step creating a divided rhythm. It gets more interesting if we turn the steps on and we've got 8 step rhythm sequencing and then merging steps 3 and 4 and 6 and 7 we can get some held steps as well. So here I've got a square subwave and a saw wave going into steps 1 and 2 and then I've got white noise coming into step 3 with that also multied into steps 4. Steps 5, 6, 7 and 8 are turned off completely just to get a 4 step sequence. The output of the switch is going into a filter and then the gate output which is generated on the switch is triggering an envelope which is opening up that filter. If I turn off step 4 we get 1, 2, 3 rest as the rhythm. If I double press step 4 we get 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 cycling through those 3 steps. So now each step is back on, I'll hold step 3 and press step 4 as well to merge those giving us 1, 2, 3, hold, 1, 2, 3, hold as the rhythm. The gate output then holds across those steps as well. So here I'm using the inputs and outputs the other way around to the rest of the video. The single output I've been using is now acting as an input and then each step jack is now a separate output for each step. The input is just a saw wave and the outputs are going to four different filters. I've got the gate output which is generated going to four different envelopes which is the dope for quad ADSR to the left and these envelopes are also going to the four different filters. I've got the Erica Polyvox in band pass mode, a Frequensteiner in high pass mode, an SOB in low pass mode and a Borg 2 filter in notch mode. So I'll now play around with the envelopes. And I'll slow the clock down so you can hear a bit more of each filter coming through. So I hope you've enjoyed the overview of the Erica sequential switch. Head to the link in the description to check out a follow up video where I create a much bigger and more chaotic patch with the switch at the hub of it all. As always subscribe to this channel for more videos coming soon and feel free to like and comment and ask any questions below. Cheers.